Okay, so for the uh, announcement of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, uh, Shredder's Revenge, I think it's called, I thought I'd go back and play a little bit of uh, Turtles in Time, one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo. And I just want to probably play the first level to share some of my memories of what was a great game. Now, the first thing I have to talk about is just how much um, this game has gone up in price, which is really crazy. It is just insane. I, I, I can't get over the prices I've seen uh, for this game in recent uh, years, I guess you could say. I don't know which turtle I'm going to play, Donatello. I don't know, Donatello, uh, let's say Michelangelo. But this was one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo, I'll just get into it. And I've got to say, uh, with the announcement of this, this uh, new game coming out, I, it just looks and feels very similar to this game. And I've got to say, playing this game back in the day, as I was a, a Turtle fan, I thought this was one of the best uh, beat em up games I've ever experienced. And it just brings back so many great memories. I do remember playing um, this, you know, the Turtles, Turtles game in the arcade along with um, the Simpsons. I think there was a really good game from Konami with the uh, Simpsons game. But this was a great one player or two gap player game. I wouldn't say back in the day I was a huge fan of the Ninja Turtles uh, cartoon. It wasn't until much later that I would get into uh, the cartoon but I absolutely loved this game. I'll see if I can do I, I, One of the favorite things that you can do in this game is throw the, the character at the screen like just like that. That is so cool. That was mode 7. I used to try so much back in the day to do this. But. And this is probably the only Ninja Turtle game I played on the home console. Um, I know there's been a whole heap of them released on the. The uh, NES, but I didn't own the NES. I wasn't a fan of the NES back in the day. But this one was just incredible, fast-paced. Let's see if I can do this mode seven throw again. Yeah. Now it was during the um, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 era that this game had a complete remake of it. And I do have it on the PlayStation 3. I thought it was really cool. Um, some people didn't like it, but I did. It's pretty much the same game. The mechanic, the game mechanics are the same, but um, just updated graphics, which I didn't mind. Oh, come on. So much going on with this game. It was just incredible. Um, oh, boss time. Let's see if I can do this. It's been a long time since long time since I played this game. Okay, let's see how I go. This is really intense. Get a focus. As you can see, I'm really trying to focus not to lose a life here. And I just did, didn't I? Cowbunga! It was such a great... And my daughter has uh, recently got into the whole Ninja Turtle thing. Um, I think it was on one of the... Uh, I think it was on the ABC TV for kids. Uh, I don't know how new the series is, but it looks like it's recent. Oh uh, yeah. So, yeah, this is a really cool game. It's just so much fun to go back and have a look at this. And I think from here in, this is where... Do we go into the, the time warp type thing? Or is it the next I level after? Blue. No, it's the next one after that. So that's all pretty much I want to have a look at. It was a great game back in the day. And it's so cool to see 
uh, another Ninja Turtle game coming out, and it's something that I definitely want to get. Uh, this was a good level. I, I don't know, I'm going to play a little bit of it. I, I can't help myself, this is, this is a really cool game. Two players, uh, I think the new, the new uh, game that's been made is uh, four player. If it's online, it'd be really cool. Um, that'd be really awesome, I think. If it can have the same sort of game mechanics as this one, I'd be really happy, but this is a great game. I think that after this stage, it's the sewer level, and then you get into time, the time warps type of stuff. But yeah, this is so much fun. I don't know what else is. This is during the time when Konami was making so many amazing games for the Super Nintendo. It was just like, oh, the, wow, that's really cool. But they were just killing it with what games they were, were uh, releasing on the Super Nintendo. And it was one of my favorite developers back in, in that day. They really were. They rivaled um, even Nintendo and Sega uh, with the games that were de de uh, developing. Um, the Contra games, the... Uh, what was it? Um, i got to focus on this. Castlevania 4 is probably one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo. Um, what else did they do? They did a lot of stuff. I just can't think right now because I'm focusing on this, but they, they did a lot of great stuff during that era. But yeah, this is great. This is very easy to pick up. It's, it's just... I know there's another button I can press to... to to do some sort of powerful thing, yeah, that one, yeah, I lose some my my health that way. So okay, this is where I'm going to leave it because I don't, didn't want this video to go too long, but I'm having so much fun playing this game. I'm nearly okay, maybe I'll see if I can survive one more one more life. But leave a comment down below. What do you think of this game? Is it one of your one of your favorite turtle games? Is it any other turtle game, especially the stuff on the NES, because I've got a, a ROM uh, emulator and ROMs so I can play these things. This is what I'm playing this game on at the moment, it's an emulator. Um, and this just sounds really cool. Playing this thing through this, my headphones. I love this spin, this spin attack. That was really cool. So each different color enemy has, you know, takes more hits to uh, defeat. Need a pizza. I remember this part, yeah. So that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it. It was a great game back in the day, and it's just so much fun to to go back and revisit some of these older uh, games from from that era. It was really cool. So until next time, guys. Bye.